I imagine since you started in 1992, right? Correct. Yeah, so, 30 years. March, it was 30 years. Well, how? What was it? What was uh, Montecito like when? What the agency was like when you joined? Do you remember? Like, was there a storefront? And was there? Was it? Did it feel different? Um. Yeah. So there were storefronts. Um. They, and I worked in one of them in Santa Maria. I started as a leisure agent. Okay. And um, yeah, so the difference is, um, you know, we, we couldn't really work remotely like we can now. So, you know, we each, each office, and like I said, at one point, I think we had 16, 17 offices on the central coast. I just happened to work in one of them. Okay. And, you know, we did, um, each office was responsible for doing their own ARC report, um, you know, their own bank deposits. You know, we, you know, had fax machines. <laughs> um, we had the blue boxes. I mean, I remember, you know, when we got email, we were all like, oh my gosh, what do we do? You know, it's like, <laughs> and now we're all connected with our cell phones. Yeah. And back then we were like, oh no, 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 please don't take the typewriter away. Yeah. Um, you know, so there, you know, as the industry evolved, um, your travel center, Montecito Village Travel evolved too. Um, we, we really, for many, many years um, have had independent contractors, you know, and when they were able to go home, when the internet came, um, you know, I think we really led that journey, um, especially in California. We were definitely one of the first agencies that had independent contractors. So that's what's different, you know, where you had to have a branch and you had to be registered with ARC. You know, now, you know, we you can work remotely and virtually. We have one ARC number, not 16. You know, I have one set of accounting people that do the ARC. You know, so those, those changes, um, you know, and, and again, we evolved with them. So you mentioned independent contractors, and that's something everyone's sort of been talking about in the industry for the past few years. Well, since I've been in the industry, is sort of the proliferation of, of that segment of the travel agency community. Um, and you mentioned the internet. Do you think that is the big sort of driving force behind a growing population of independent contractors? Or is, is there something else going on in the workforce that is making that segment more attractive to, to entrants and, and to older advisors who are moving in that direction as well? Um, I, I definitely think that technology and the internet has made it easier um, for people to work remotely. Um, definitely, again, back in the day, we had blue boxes, um, you know, they were on a dial up system, um, you know, so the high speed internet and being able like my workspace when I work from home, I've got, you know, a voice over IP phone, a computer, um, my, I have a corporate staff and they all work from their homes and their phones, um, they can see when each other are on it. So th no different than sitting in an office, right? They can work yeah. as a team because of the technology and the high speed inter internet, you know, obviously has made that um, a a realistic, you know, to do. Um, and so for the independent contractors, I think it's two things. One, the technology and the internet, definitely. But then also, you know, after 9-11, we saw, um, you know, some of the storefronts and agencies, um, you know, wanting to stay in the business, but really looking at their overhead because business stopped and it didn't come back right away. You know, we, you know, after 9-11, we spent more time, you know, refunding and, you know, the, just the financial you know, losses that some of the agencies took, it really let them, um, you know, keep their business. We always said your clients or your clients are there because of you. Um, you know, what we bring to them is our higher upfront commissions, you know, the airline agreements and things. But, you know, if you didn't want to have a storefront because of the overhead expense, um, you could move home without disruption to your clients and your, um, you know, your the way you did business. So I, I think, that, you know, so the times, um, yeah. some of the things that have happened, you know, the commission hits, you know, we rode that wave, we rode 9-11, um, the economic downturn, that was another one that really, you know, some of the agency owners, if you're, you know, anywhere from 3 million to 10 million, you know, to get those higher upfront commissions, to have the airline agreements, mm -hmm. it really became um, unrealistic. So for them to partner with a host and be able to, um, to do that, to service their clients, um, you know, without the overhead and without, you know, having to do their own ARC report, you know, it really, you know, took some of the business part of it away and let them do what they love to sell travel.
Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting too. I, I think I've considered that before, but that seems like you make the go, you make a good point where you're not really re reaching your, it's going to be very difficult to reach those thresholds without the right. support behind you or without being a part of a host agency, like you said. Right. Um, I mean, is that something you think is going to continue? You think, you think the IC community is going to still be growing and strong, like looking to the future. Is that something, is that a trend you th you really believe in? Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, even if you do have a storefront, um, you know, because there are still, you know, people that want to, you know, have their clients come in, meet face to face, especially on the luxury um, level, you know, when you've got clients spending the kind of money, they want that personal touch and to be able to meet with you. So I do see, you know, smaller agencies that and they can call themselves whatever they want, ABC Travel, and then all the inner workings are part of a host, you know, hopefully Montecito Village Travel, yeah. but, um, <laughs> you know, part of a host agency. So they are, you know, they have the support that they need on the um, ARC, they have the higher commissions, um, you know, all the waivers and favors, you know, that they may not earn on their own um, as a smaller agency. I definitely see that trend um, mm. continuing. This is Dan McCarthy, and you're listening to the Check-In Podcast.